Hey friends, Roger's Faith Teachings, welcome. I uh, am starting again in the Bible in Genesis 1, and I just want to encourage you as you sit down to read the Bible to just take a fresh look at it. Don't bring you all your old preconceived ideas, but just look and say, God, how is this going to speak to me and how can I use this? For example, Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God. And, let's just stop there for a second. In the beginning, God. That will get you through. In the beginning of your marriage, in the beginning of your school year, in the beginning of the new year, whatever it is, in the beginning, put God first and He will get you through. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was formless and void. It means that it was empty, it was dark, it was chaotic, it didn't have a purpose. Actually, one of the meanings is it was unreal. And it says that the Spirit of God hovered over the surface of the earth. You know, the Bible says that we are God's field. <laughs> Did you know that? And sometimes our little earthen vessels can feel empty and void and without purpose and dark and almost unreal. Have you ever felt like that? Well, the Spirit of God hovering. The Spirit of God and the Word of God. When God said, let there be light. And light filled the universe. Look. It takes the Word of God and the Spirit of God to transform our lives. And God will bring order and purpose and, and new creation out of our lives when we respond to His Word and the power of His Holy Spirit. So, in the beginning God, He wants to inhabit our new year and our life and all our beginnings. So, try to apply this. Uh, try to apply the Word of God to our circumstances. And if there's anything dark or chaotic or purposeless in our life, just ask the Spirit of God to hover and look for that Word that's going to ignite that spark that's going to bring the new life. Uh, we're brought out of darkness and into His marvelous light, it says in the Word. And, it, and this is something that is another part of Genesis 1 that was jumping out at me, is that God separates we're brought out of darkness and into His wonder. We're separated from the darkness by His light. It, he, it says in Genesis 1 that He separated the waters from the waters. He separated the light from the darkness. He separated the land from the waters. And what He wants to do with us is separate us as a separate people for Him, set apart for good works. Now, one of our girls, Rebecca, really likes this one cup that we have. So we set it apart for her so that when she comes over, we can offer her some turmeric tea or something in it and, and uh, she'd go to the cupboard, she'd get her favorite cup. But what if, let me just say, she got into the cupboard and she looked in her favorite cup. And it was filthy, it wasn't ready for the purpose that is set apart. She might just say, oh, uh, I'll just pass. You know, it looks good on the outside. Love never fails. <laughs> but somehow, it's not ready. Now look, God wants to separate us for His purposes. And if we are separated and ready for the Master's use, then when He's ready to use us, He'll pull us off the shelf, He'll fill us with His message, His Spirit, His power, and we'll be a conduit to transfer that message to our hurting, dying world. Now, this is what's so important about staying clear, clean and set apart for His purposes, is that when that message flows through us, we don't want it to taste like the old dirty pipe. We don't want it to taste like the old dirty cup. We want that message to flow through clean and free because there's people dying around us. There's people who need to hear a word from the Lord. We need to hear from the Lord and then we need to carry that message into the world. So I was reading, you know, at the end of last year in Revelation 18 where God is calling in verse 4 for his people to come out of Babylon. Separate to separate from the world system. It says, don't partake in her pleasures or her sins, lest you also will partake in her judgments and her plagues. So, 
God is asking us at this time to separate ourselves, to be ready for the master's use when he comes in to find a clean cup ready for his use and to uh, be available 